Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this new video. In our previous video, we had a discussion about temperate table space, right? Why do we need temperate table space? What is a temperate table space and how to create that one? How to add temp files over there? So all we have discussed in our previous video. And I mentioned about temporary table space groups, right? So that is it for today's session about. So a temporary table space group is a made up bunch of temporary table spaces. Means a uh, group means we already understood, right? It's a, a bunch of thing. So it's a bunch of temporary table spaces uh, inside that group. It will be there. And this group can uh, contain uh, like a, as you mentioned bunch of that one or more tables temporary table spaces, right? But one one uh, property is that only temporary table space can be uh, there in that group so uh, we cannot we cannot create it I mean uh, we cannot create it uh, without creating any temporary table space so there is no such a way uh, to create it simply a group so while creating a temporary table space we can create a temporary table space group and how and automatically when we uh, remove the last temporary table space from the group it gets deleted automatically so this was a short introduction about temporary table space groups but again that question why do we need because by creating a temporary table space group it allows multiple uh, table spaces to be specified at the database level and it allows the user to use multiple session I mean multiple table spaces at the same time and suppose one single uh, SQL statement is running it will it will uh, it will be using it may it can use multiple spaces for sorting that means it will have a uh, bigger space right so that's good so in short of like uh, all users um, like uh, there are so many users and they are uh, executing queries and they need a uh, temporary table space so uh, one one thing we can do that by specifying the uh, schema level te temporary table spaces that is one of the one case and another case is by specifying temporary table space groups that means we can avoid the congestion that uh, every users here uh, users are uh, like uh, trying to get free space in the temporary table space so apart from that I mean by uh, to get rid of that one we can use that this temporary table space group idea so this is a short introduction about temporary table space groups and uh, why you need that so earlier I was telling that while creation of the temporary table space it will automatically be uh, it will automatically uh, creating itself right so the same syntax create temporary table space this temporary table space name and we have specified a temporary table sp uh, temp, uh, temp, uh, temp, uh, temp file and other properties we have given the same as we used earlier and at the last what we are mentioning table space group as temp group A so let us create that one so this is our database and we are going to create so as you can see this table space is created right so let us check from DBA table space groups what are the groups available see this table space is associated with this table space temporary table space group right but previously we have multiple tem uh, temporary table spaces right and this is newly created but this table space is not under this group or neither in any other group right so what you will do we will add this temporary table space to this group 
how to do that let us see so here we are specifying alter table space this table space name and table space group we are specifying the table space group this is how we can create I mean uh, this is how we can add a tem uh, already existing temporary table space to newly created a temporary table space group so now let us check yeah so this is how we can create temporary table space we can create temporary table space groups and this is how we can assign a temporary table space to a existing group so that is it for today uh, hope you've learned something do visit other videos as well and make sure you share your feedback in the comment and see you in the next video